Excuse me. Tight aisles, all right. Oh. Hey. Um. From the gym, right? <laughs> yeah. You were the guy who was reading on the spin bike. <laughs> How's that going for you? I haven't seen you since. Okay. All right. Mornings, afternoon, evening. Doesn't matter so long as you're still going in. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did not ask for an accountability partner. I, um... I suppose it's just force a habit. It's... It's good when you have friends who go to the gym. It kind of keeps your head in the game, you know? Oh, speaking of head in the game, I'm going to assume that you are the one, Caitlin said, joined her Quidditch team from the gym. Yeah, she mentioned it to me. I hadn't talked about it to anybody else, so I figured it had to be you. How's that going? <laughs> it does look like a lot of fun. Me oh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, for one, it takes a bit of speed and a bit of coordination, and I have neither. <laughs> I have many fine attributes, but uh, coordination and being a good athlete is just not one of them. I know. I look like I could cross a field in no time with these leg muscles and this height, you would think. Legs this long should be able to just zip across a field, but no, never. Never. <laughs> Back in PE, when you have to run laps around the field or run laps around the gym, I was always the caboose every last time. <laughs> hmm. It's all good. <sighs> Come on. If I were this tall, this fit, this cute, this intelligent, and also good at sports, oh my goodness, it just wouldn't be fair to the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. I was joking somewhat. Yeah, confidence is nice. Sometimes confidence is just knowing that you don't have to be perfect. Nobody is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not perfect for everybody. You know, you might be stunned to hear this, but some men are attracted to petite, little wayfish-looking things. Some men are attracted to soft bodies. Some men are not attracted to tall, buff Amazonian women. I know, right? What is wrong with them? Completely unnatural, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're intimidated. Or maybe that just isn't what they're into. It's all good. <laughs> you know what? I'm not into them either. What am I into? Hmm. I am into geeky. Hence, running into you in a game shop. Uh, I am into intelligent, funny, kind. I am into people who want to be better than they were. Oh no, I, I mean that 
I don't just mean that physically. I mean, physically, sure, but I, I, I'm into people who want to evolve. Like, none of us start off knowing the right things to say. None of us start off being woke and aware of everyone else's point of view and everyone else's experience. None of us know everything or can do everything. But the adventure in learning is what I get excited about. Whatever it is. So... I like people who are curious. People who want to be better than they were at something, at many things. Like you. <laughs> oh, yes, like you. I saw you there, reading on the spin bike. <laughs> I mean, yes, it was a distraction from doing something that was tedious, but also, yeah, improving your mind and improving your body at the same time, that's kind of hot. <laughs> Manga is still improving your mind. I defy anyone to say different. <sighs> no, 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 no. Every time you read a story, you learn something. You experience the world through someone else's eyes. Even if it's a character, you're still taking an element from the author. So, it still counts. <laughs> uh, what are you here for? I mean, I don't. That sounded rude. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, like, what are you shopping for? What are you looking at? What caught your interest? I want to see what you are looking for. Oh, good choice. Yeah, I know. Um, I like the miniatures, but again, not coordinated. <laughs> tricks to it? Okay. I'm listening. Okay, well, I can't even draw a straight circle. I'm never going to be able to do what are dotting tools. Oh. So you just really, you just dab it in the paint and Dotted. It's that easy. Okay. Um, oh, well, if you want to show me, I suppose I wouldn't mind seeing. <laughs> Well, I did say that I like when people want to learn new things and improve themselves, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so here's a question. Is it easier to start on something bigger or is it easier to start on something smaller? Okay. All right, that makes sense. Okay, well then... I like, oh, the one I like is all the way up there. Okay, hang on. Um, mm, mm -mm. no, even I can't reach that. Well, we could wait for the clerk to be done. Or, or what? <laughs> you can't lift me. Well, maybe you could, but I don't know how much it's going to buy us. I'm already taller than you are. And, uh... Oh. But... 
if, if, if I were to pick you up, kind of, you know, raise you up a little bit, uh, you could probably reach it. Would you mind? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, we're doing this. Um, okay. I will squat and grab you around the thighs and up. Okay. There you go. You got it? You got it? All right. And slide down. Oh. Hi. <laughs> mm. Well, it is close quarters, but um it's it's kind of a tight aisle, so I suppose that's fine, isn't it? <laughs> uh I should take that from you. <laughs> I am not blushing. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, well, I um, I, I should uh, I, I should go pay for this. You should you should go pay for yours. I we should. Uh, oh wait wait wait! <laughs> I came here for a reason. Um, <laughs> dice gel. Yes. I have a set of Jurassic Park dice that I absolutely love. They're so cute. They have, they're clear. They have little skulls in them and little blood splatters and it's fabulous. But uh, two of them will get me slayed every single time I play with them. They're very badly weighted. So, dice gel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are very, very bad dice. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are flirty today. I don't remember you being this flirty. Uh, me flirty? I, mm, uh, do I, I don't know. I, mm, me being flirty, I don't, I, I don't remember. I don't remember me being flirty at the gym. I I don't remember me <laughs> saying that maybe when you had just gotten out of a bad relationship was not the time to start dating. I, I don't remember saying that maybe we could see what came of it if... We kept seeing each other at the gym. I, I don't remember being disappointed when you didn't come back to the gym. Okay, you didn't come back to the gym when I was there. Fair. Why, why didn't you come back to the gym when I was there? I'm sorry, that was... Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, that's a, a really good reason. Picking up a class at the college that interests you is, is. Yeah, that is a, a really good reason to change your schedule. You're kind of. You're kind of impressive, aren't you? <laughs> well, like I said, I'm really into guys who are trying to improve themselves in some way. It is a really hot quality. Mm. Mm, yeah. I suppose it has been a while now since you uh, 
broke up with your ex. Huh. I... I suppose it wouldn't be a rebound relationship. If, if it were a relationship. I mean, you know, if it turned out to be something more. Are you... I, I mean, it's early, but are you uh, interested in maybe something more? Or are you just looking for, like, a hookup situation? Because, I mean, no shade if that's what you're looking for. That's that's just cards on the table. Um, I am, I'm not looking for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think that sounds like um I think that sounds like a lovely idea. Well then here. Put your phone number in. <laughs> mm. I'll text you. No, I'm not going to make you go to the gym on a date. Oh, there's all sorts of things we can do. There is hiking and biking and jogging. And we could go to a trampoline park. We could... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't get that look on your face. I'm joking. I mean, I mean although... But like, honestly, the trampoline park is kind of something I've wanted to do. But also, I'm fully capable of relaxing and watching a movie, or going out to eat, or just hanging out and people watching. I'm pretty sure that whatever we decide to do, we will manage to have fun with it. Well, because look at us today. <laughs> We're just standing in a narrow aisle in a tiny game shop. And I've had a lot of fun so far, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Sometimes it's not about what you do, it's about who you do it with. So, you and I, we're going to be fine. But only if we get these checked out, because our first date is you teaching me how to paint a model. Good? All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to it, too. Hey there, my geeky delicious cupcakes. I hope you're doing well today. And why am I doing so well? Because you are still here listening to me. Thank you so much for your attention. And thank you for your subscriptions and your likes and your shares and all of the comments, all of that stuff. It is always fun to interact with you, even if sometimes I get a little bit busier and I don't get as much opportunity. So, oh, oh, oh. You know who else I get to interact with now? Osiel Martinez and T-Man who joined the Patreon. So thank you for that and welcome. And of course, thank you to all my special patrons at the Bakers and Pound Cakes tiers. Tiny the Taxman, the FPS Player, Tatum Rosalie, Meryl, Inline Flaws, Mr. Rickles, Anand, Nick, Always Able, Lion and Winter, Infinite Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear Forces, the Swaggy Llama, Art Low, Pierce Talish, Bellamy, Tom Berry Shuffle, and Christian Kaleo Pa'a. You know what? That's the most fun name to say, Kaleo Pa'a. Even though I got it wrong the first few times I tried it, but Christian Kaleo Pa'a, that's a fun name to say it with me. Kaleo Pa'a. Did you say it? Did you say it with me? Let's try this again. Kaleo Pa'a. 
You didn't, did you? I can't say I blame you. You're very good at resisting peer pressure. All right, it is time for me to quit being silly and go head back to work. It has been fun. Thank you guys for listening, and please be as kind to yourselves as you are to me. I will talk to you uh, Monday, unless you're in the Patreon, and then I'm going to be speaking to a bunch of people this weekend and on Monday. (laughs) Have a good weekend.